I'm Bishop Charles Collins Andaku from Madi West Nile Diocese, reminding you that COVID is real. This COVID has claimed lives of over 780 prominent sons and daughters of this nation. It has not spared the rich, the religious leaders, political heads, and the other resourceful members of the society. It has infiltrated our communities all over the country, infecting over 75,000 Ugandans. Therefore, I take this opportunity to thank the Head of State, His Excellency General Yoweri Kagutam Seven, for the nation to pray about this pandemic. Let us seek the face of God honestly every day for God's mercy to rain upon us. I urge every Christian to establish altars in your homes and encourage your children and all the family members to repent, pray, and seek the face of God. The Word of God says, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways, I'll hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. As stated in 2 Chronicles 7.14, I urge the public to seriously adhere to the standard operating procedures set to fight the pandemic. Let us avoid unnecessary movement to crowded places. I urge parents to guide their children and ensure they stay home all the time and children should avoid roaming in the trading centers, going out to play with the colleagues, since this may expose them to all the virus. I thank all the health workers, the security forces, and the other frontliners in the fight against COVID-19 for their tireless effort to safeguard and save lives of our people. I appeal to them to be considerate and kind to the poor and the vulnerable persons within our communities so that everyone receives affordable treatment once infected with the disease. Finally, as children of God, let us not lose hope because our God reigns over every circumstance and will never fail us. I send sincere condolences to all those that have lost their dear ones during this pandemic. Use this lockdown to foster peace, eliminate the GBV among communities, and protect our young girls from teenage pregnancy and early marriage. Let us use the lockdown to do farming activities like planting of crops, weeding, and looking after animals, among others, in order to address the looming hunger. Let us not lose our faith in God and continue to worship Him at all times because COVID-19 is not the end of the world. May God bless you as you cherish this day of the National Prayer Day for COVID-19. I'm your servant, Bishop Charles Collins Zandaku, the Bishop of Mali, West Nile Diocese.